Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be making a box confetti cupcakes. My daughter is hounding me about making these cupcakes. So I'm going to make a video out of it because she wants these cupcakes. So let's get started. And you can use any box of confetti cake mix you want. I have Pillsbury and go according to the instructions on the back except for it asks for a cup of water, one fourth cup of oil, and four eggs. I'm doing everything except for the water. I'm using milk and I'm going to use maybe like a half of this pudding mix, jello pudding pudding mix. Just like a half of that in there as well. So let's get started. And I say you put everything together, then we're going to use a hand mixer to mix it all together. We need the one fourth cup of oil. And here's the one cup of milk. And my four eggs. Always remember to crack your egg in another bowl so it didn't have you don't get any shells in your batter. And that's the four eggs, one fourth cup of oil, and the one cup of milk. Now we're going to mix this together. Jello pudding mix. Ooh. Like I said, this was like half of a bag I had left over. Adding that in. dry ingredients on the bottom. Nope, pretty good. And then we're gonna get our cupcakes, the muffin pan. And I have already lined them with little cupcakes paper cups. I'm going to use my scoop and just scoop them out. They say this batter makes 24 cupcakes, but mine might not make 24 because you know the portion size. Mine is a little bigger than norm. And once these come out of the oven, we're gonna let them cool. And then we're gonna put some buttercream frosting on top and some more sprinkles. Okay, 
And I got some more in here, which I'm going to get another pan and finish portioning the rest of them off. But I'm going to go ahead. Let's get not the air bubbles. I'm going to put these in the oven. So you can see how they look. And when these come out, I'll be back. I'm back. A little good news. I'm waiting on the muffins to cut the muffins, the cupcakes to come out of the oven. And it, the cupcake, I forgot to tell you, um, on the box says anyway from 19 to 23 minutes. So we're waiting on the cupcakes. And in my living translation, Matthews 19 and 26, Jesus looked at them intently and said, human speaking, it is impossible. But with God, everything is possible. Jesus was talking to his disciple about this young man that came by. What can he do? He'd done everything and kept everything since his youth. And Jesus was telling him to sell everything he had and come follow him. But he was very rich. And Jesus was telling it was easy for a camel to fit through the eye of a needle than a rich man it is to get into heaven. And he was telling his disciples. But with man... It is impossible. But with God, everything is possible. You gain so much more when you let go of this world and you let go of the things of this world. You gain eternal life. You gain someone who truly loves you for who you are and not for what you have. And like it says in here, everything. But with God, everything is possible. No matter what it is, everything is possible. Even if you're thinking, there's no way in this world I can be saved. God said everything is possible. Because if he can save me, he can save you. But we got to let go and let God. I love him. I love him. I love him. The cupcakes are out of the oven. And they were in the oven for 19 minutes. I took a toothpick and took it in the center and it came out clean. And this is how they look. Now I'm gonna let them cool down for like 30 to maybe an hour. Then I'm gonna frost them with the cream, uh, sorry, with the buttercream frosting. And I'll be back. Welcome back. Now we're gonna make, I have the muffins out of the oven and it made a total of 22 instead of 24. And now they're cooling down and I'm going to make the buttercream frosting. And you need a half a cup of butter. And I'm going to cream this for like five minutes. First I need to plug it up. I have two cup, that was one half stick, not one half stick, one half cup of unsalted butter. And I have, I have two cups of powdered sugar. I'm just gonna add this in a little at a time. Powdered sugar is sifted.
one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, a little bit of my kitchen bouquet, just a, about a half a teaspoon, and maybe a tablespoon of milk. couldn't find my packing bag so I'm going to try to do this and see if it works you're going along with me for the ride make sure my camera was recording let's see how it works Okay, now I got a few more left. These I'm going to just put on the top. Now that I have them frosted, some I just, with the rest, just put some on the top. Now we're gonna sprinkle, sprinkle some sprinkles. and I have the sprinkles on them and I'll be back with the taste test okay and of course you know I already tasted one I'm gonna give them another try very delicious Confetti cupcakes. Mm.
Mooi. Delicious. This is very good. With that pudding mix in there, really moist. Then the icing, not too sweet. Mm. Thank you guys again for coming by and watching. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.